The TOEFL Home Edition, a lot of things can go wrong. If you don't have the right software downloaded on your computer, you can't take the TOEFL Home Edition. If you try to use a pencil on a piece of paper, you can't take the TOEFL Home Edition. Lots of things can go wrong for the TOEFL Home Edition, but let's go through this seven step checklist together to make sure that you're ready for test day. First thing you wanna do is you make sure you register like a pro. So if you haven't registered yet, you wanna make sure that you try to register a few weeks or months in advance to make sure you get the time and the date that you want. The other thing you wanna do is make sure you pick the right time of day. I made this mistake. I tried to squeeze this uh, TOEFL Home Edition test into my schedule. I scheduled it for 10 p.m. at night and I was like, oh, it'll be fine. And then I just didn't think that I wouldn't finish the test till about 1.30 in the morning. So not the best time for me to take the test. Pick the right time of day, ideally a time that's early and when you'll be you know, pretty much alone in your house. The next few things is that make sure you have your name and ID. It must match. So you wanna make sure you have a valid ID, probably your passport, and you use the right email address. You will get an email notification with some important links make sure you open that email. Okay, so make sure when you register for the test, you give an email that you actually check. All right, second step to make sure you have a great experience is to prepare your computer. What do I mean? You'll have to run the ProctorU equipment check. ProctorU is the company that administers this test with the help from ETS. And so they're gonna be gaining access to your computer. You have to run the TOEFL test on your computer. It's pretty annoying. This is the most annoying step is just kind of checking all the computer stuff. So make sure you play with the ProctorU equipment check first. Make sure that it's working properly. The second thing you want to do here is that you want to make sure you download ETS's secure test browser. You'll get a link to all this stuff after you register for the test. When it's test day and it's time to actually take the test, make sure you close all of the apps and windows that nothing else is open, no other apps are open, it's just the test. The third step to a great TOEFL Home Edition test experience is to make sure you hit the like and subscribe button because it'll really help me a lot. And also we have a lot of good stuff that will help you prepare for your test, even you take the Home Edition or your test in a test center. Okay, but seriously, the third uh, step that you wanna take is to prepare your environment. So you have to set up the room that you're gonna take the test in. Make sure that you're alone in a quiet room. Tell your family and friends to kind of stay out and leave you alone for three hours. Use your phone as a mirror and then do not touch it. So one thing that they're gonna ask you to do is to show your computer. So you have to actually have your phone open or, or a mirror and you have to show your computer and what it looks like, okay? So make sure that you do that on test day, that you have your phone ready to use as a mirror and then basically they'll tell you, okay, get your phone away from you and you'll have to put it somewhere away from you where they can see it. Step number four is to bring the right stuff. Of course, you'll need to bring a passport or some type of valid ID. Check ETS's website for that but you also wanna make sure you have a whiteboard or a transparency sheet. And you wanna also uh, make sure that you have a marker with a thin tip. So for the home edition, you can't take notes on a piece of paper like you normally would. So you wanna have a, a, what I did was I got a whiteboard. I would recommend ordering one online. I'll put a link in the description below. I actually went and shopped around my neighborhood for it and I had bought like a $10 one at Walmart and it was, you know, you don't want to spend $10 for this thing. Uh, the other thing about this is that uh, it, I recommend having a thin tipped marker. So when you're taking notes on a, on a uh, whiteboard, if you have a kind of thick marker like this, this one's not too thick, but if you have a thick marker like this, it's, you can write less. You only are able to write less. If you have a thinner one, like this one, uh, it's much more comfortable and it's also easier to write more. If you take a lot of notes, like I do for the uh, listening section, you wanna make sure that you have a thin tipped marker. It'll be better for when you write your notes. Step number five, prepare on test day. You don't have to wear a tuxedo, <laughs> okay? But I will say that you should dress nice. Now, why do I say that? Um, let's say you're going to work. 
uh, you know, you wouldn't go to work, just get out of bed, right? You would, you, what I would do, I, I shave, I do my hair, I change my clothes, you know, I do all that stuff. And, you know, I would try to look my best because how you look does have a positive impact on how you feel. So dress well, it'll help. The second thing you want to do is be punctual and they have a 15 minute window for you to check in. Make sure you check in as soon as possible. You want to get settled. You want to get comfortable. You want to make sure that all the technology is working. Be there 15 minutes early. You'll get a link in your um, email. So really check your email. I can't emphasize that enough. I would really have been lost. Uh, for this test preparation without a um, e without emails. So make sure that you're checking your emails, check your spam just in case, and make sure that you are prepared and ready to go on test day. So two more quick steps. Let's talk about what you should do during the test. So during the test, you wanna make sure that you look straight ahead as much as possible. Of course, you'll have to look down to take notes if you're gonna take notes during the listening but you really wanna to try to keep your head straight and eyes forward because somebody will be watching you. That's the one kind of uncomfortable thing about this test is that there's some person you know, watching you. So uh, you know, keep that in mind, try to look straight. If you're like kind of looking down too much or like looking off to the side or something, they might think you're cheating. So you wanna be very careful of that. Just stay on your desk if you're taking notes or eyes straight. The second thing to keep in mind is to erase notes quickly. So, you know, if you have this little whiteboard, you wanna make sure that you have space for the next question or the next passage. So you wanna erase them pretty quickly. It's one thing that I had to do when I was taking the test. So keep that in mind. And I just had this little uh, eraser on top. So if you get like a separate bigger eraser, it might be a, a bit better and a bit faster for you. Tell the proctor if something's wrong immediately. Don't wait. You know, th this test is timed and you know, you could lose time. You could miss questions. So try to handle problems immediately. And during the test, you'll, you're allowed to have a 10 minute break. Take a less than 10 minute break. The test starts at exactly 10 minutes. So make sure you come back after 10 minutes. Uh, so you're allowed to take that break, take your break, get ready for the speaking, maybe drink some water warm up your voice a bit, just like you would in a uh, test center, and then go back. What to expect after the test? So what can you expect after the test? Well, first thing is that you can confirm you want your test sent out. They'll ask you, do you want this test sent to the university you said you wanted to, to be sent out to? So you can say yes or no on that. Uh, you probably just say yes, just confirm it. Um, Check reading and listening results. You can see what your results were for reading and listening. And then six to 10 business days for your results. Thank you all for watching. Two very important things to remember. The first thing is that you wanna make sure that you visit tstprep.com. Use my coupon code for all courses, classes, uh, teachers, evaluations, anything you need to prepare for the test. You don't have to do it alone. The second thing to keep in mind is that, uh, oh yeah, you want to make sure that you practice before you actually take the test. So if you have time, if it's not the night before your test, try this complete TOEFL test. It'll help you get ready for the actual experience. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.